special Toma versus Toma wrestling match scheduled for one ball. Well, yes, Chris Grubb, this is a Toma versus Toma wrestling match. I don't know what else would be. We're at a wrestling show. I don't know if it would be a chess game. I don't know if it would be cool be... to see a, a Rochambeau. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to see Rochambeau. Not a South Park Rochambeau. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. The original Rochambeau. Of course, we know that familiar music. It's Travis Lee, the pious one. Entering the ring first. From Toma, Wisconsin, at 250 pounds, Travis Lee! You see, this is the crazy thing. Travis Lee and Livewire are actually friends. In real life, they are actually friends. They like to hang out. They like to rent movies. They like to go down to the Old Trunk Cinema. They just checked out the Avengers last night. They're a tag team in another promotion. But here tonight, it's Toma against Toma. One's got to wonder, you know, what exactly prompted this? I was able to talk to Livewire earlier. He said, man, I just got to know. I got to know if I can beat up Travis Lee. This is one of them damn brother versus brother matches, isn't it? Who, who am I supposed to root for in this thing? Well, it's brother against brother, brother. Travis Lee turned his life around. He found Jesus. Livewire, of course. He found beer. And that was a... Apparently he didn't find his music, though. No, he did not. Nope. Of course, now someone's wiping off the ropes and the turnbuckles. Where was that earlier? Nothing like closing the barn doors after the cows are out, right? Yeah. It should be interesting. Livewire was involved in probably one of the most hellacious Falls Count Anywhere match I've ever seen in my life. I got Superstar Steve Stark last time we were at the bank. Right here. Legendary match. Upstairs. It went all across that roof. It went... I think it, if I remember right, it ended right here in front of where we're sitting right now. Well, Livewire is a frequent patron of the bank here in Tullin, Wisconsin. You know, if there was a hometown advantage or even home field advantage in your own hometown against another hometown guy, he's got to be here tonight. Livewire's got that advantage. horse in this race. Well, just sit back and enjoy the ride then, I guess. You know, I wish we had some word about Connor Riley's, you know, injury you know, status as, here. As soon as we get uh, word, I, I, I will let you know. Of course, now that they're picking fights with the wrong guys, I don't know if I care about the Irish Wrecking Crew anymore. An interesting contest. Both men friends. A lot of mutual oh, respect. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Sportsmanship. Who wants to that. see a handshake to start a wrestling match? This isn't Philadelphia. It's a bunch we of crap. We don't cheer when someone gets hurt. We want I, sportsmanship. I will boo Santa Claus. I will boo Santa Why Claus. Why say boo you? Goes for the cover. Near fall. Sweeps the leg. Nope. Near fall. Quick pins. I don't think either man really wants to win. Well, neither man right now is just kind of they're feeling happy. Like... Another handshake? Yeah, there's a lot of mutual respect between these two young men. Is this a quilting bee or a wrestling match? Come on! Oh, dropped hold there by Travis Lee. Floats over. It's over the side headlock. Come on! Nice hammerlock counter there. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy started a prayer circle. Crap. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on. Hit the sauce a little bit more, huh? Put I am. Mustache. Thank you to the bank for my Kettle One and Red Bull. Nothing like a belligerent drunk that can't go to sleep. Nice chin breaker there. Livewire won't be talking anytime soon. Nice deep arm drag. Travis Lee, an accomplished wrestler, also a minister here in town. That's the worst part. Both these men are technically good. If they could just find an angry bone in their body somewhere... Where exactly is the, where is the angry bone? It's what usually found in your anus. Are you sure you want them to find one? What's that? Are you sure that you really want these guys to find an angry bone then? It would be better than two friends wrestling. Well, that was a good drop kick there by Livewire. It would be better than handshakes left and right. Livewire now dropping the knee. Instead of doing it right across the chin, he went to the shoulder. 
I think you should have got him in the chin with that one. That's the worst part. How, who has the killer instinct when you're facing your friend? Do we want to see Livewire flip the switch on his friend? Will he be able to do that? Well, come on, man. You got a couple of those friends where you just want to punch him in the face sometimes. Those aren't friends. Those are acquaintances. Those are business partners. Those are in-laws. Okay, so you don't have any of those type of friends where you just they get under your nerves, you know, get under your skin sometimes, just hit the right buttons. They're do you just know what like, friend hey, means? Hey, hey. Yeah, I know what friend means. I have a lot of friends. You know? I don't like, think I, you do. Ryan Brown's my friend. But sometimes I just want to punch him in the face, too. That sounds more like lovers. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not no, trying to say no, anything about no, no. you two. I'm just saying... It's usually when you're stooping one one another that you, you're like, man, I like you a lot, but sometimes I want to punch you. Well, you know, I feel bad for the current Mrs. Walker, that nice counter there. Come on, how many relationships have you been in? I've been in a few. Okay. Nice ones. Then you know for a fact. Yeah, there was that one girl that liked Brewster so much. She, she was a cop lover. Yeah? She liked wild animals. Yeah, nice deck breaker. barnyard animals. Well, you know, she's I don't know many wild area. roosters. Let's go to cover. She, tell me. Tell me at some point when you guys were going well, there wasn't a couple times you're like, really? We have to watch the Kardashians again? You know, there was there was those instances. You know, it was sweeps. And, right. You know, Kim was getting married. Yeah. You know, and that, that lasted well. You know, Chris Humphreys, I mean, you know, God, the guy's insane for putting up with that train wreck. You, know? you started speaking a language I don't understand. You said Kim... My my brain went to booty and I stopped listening to you. You had booty on the brain. I do have booty on the brain. Brain booty. Of course, when I think of Kim Kardashian, I can't help but think of Ray J. And then I just think about railroad ties. I, I think of water sports. Well played. Well played. Working over that abdominal stretch here, laying in some heavy elbows. The exposed rib cage, Travis Lee. See now, if this was a real wrestling match, he'd be punching him in the solar plexus right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, that was not good. Travis Lee was able to try to counter out of that one. Oh, but he yeah, got, got jumped the ropes. On his head. Nope. Too, too much in the middle. Oh, getting, he's definitely holding his neck now. I mean, that's not good. That is not good. Is this injury number two tonight? Oh man, this has been a cursed night here at the bank job. Rolls through. Oh. Nope. Near fall. And Travis Lee could have suffered a, a stinger on that one. It's not good when you get a stinger in the neck. Those are the kind of things that they kind of hurt in the moment, but tomorrow is when you'll really feel those things. Oh, ducks the goal's line. Big kick. Live wire now with the Irish whip. Huge leg lariat. Big, 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 big. Go let him go. down. See? Neither man wants to finish this thing, and that's not good. That is not good. Well, right now, the, the spirit of competition is kind of starting to kick it's up fun. in this match. I have no problem with the spirit of competition, but at some point when you're in a fight, you need to have that killer instinct, and I don't think either one of these men have that right now. Go for a choke here. And nice the, counter. And the only way this can end, you said they're a tag team in a, in a different fed? Yeah, yeah. The only way this can end is by one of them getting upset at the other one. Because one of them's going to win and feel great, and one of them's going to lose and feel terrible. Travis Lee now choking in the corner. This is not a very like Christian thing to do. That is if you're not very to... Christian at all. That seemed actually that's quite like a good book anywhere. To do that. That's uh, that seemed quite Muslim. I'm not going to lie. Oh, a huge European style uppercut there. One would say that's uh, Orthodox, you know. Uppercut. He's from European Orthodox uppercut. Nice try. Some of my jokes sometimes fall flat. I apologize. They fall flat to you, and you're the one saying them. Yeah. That's not a good thing. No, not at all. No. Big scoop, big slam. Live wire now. Looking to go straight to the top. This is unprecedented. We don't see this very much from live wire. Not really known for being the. See, this is proficient just... high flyer, but he sure loves that red rope. This just smacks me of somebody who does not want to flip that switch. He doesn't look very comfortable up there. No, he is. doesn't. Catches the headbutt. Oh, my goodness. That yeah, didn't look so good. No, just oh, a two count. Yeah, he barely got the right shoulder up on that one. That's that injured shoulder and just took the headbutt, too. I was trying to I probably would have kicked out with the left shoulder, but, you know, that's just me. Seriously, you can hear this, Mike. That's yep. the cord. Oh, my goodness. I'm giving business to the cord now. Don't you give business to that. I pulled him out of the cord and I oh. just a power bomb. No. Oh, no. 
Oh, a big snap there. For the, what would you call that? I, I know I've been foiled by many women that way, but I don't know what you call it when it's in the ring. Like, you know, it's just a counter? A counter? All right, I'll, I'll take that. Who's going to finish this? I don't know. It's so painful to watch two friends go at it like this. It is. Looking for that fisherman suplex. Oof. Normally when you're at the bank and you see two friends doing this, it, there's been a lot of booze involved. Oh, yeah. Maybe a pool game gone wrong, a dart game that went awry. At that point in time, some plays G11, <laughs> you know? <laughs> a bingo game that didn't end well. Boy, looking to oh. flip the switch there. Travis Lee counters. Says, no, uh see that quite often. It's a DDT, though. Spiking him right on the top of his head. Big time. This microphone is really hot. I'm not, it's not even anywhere near my mouth right now. And we can hear me crystal clear, right? Yeah, we can. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, you can still hear me. You can still hear me really well. Yep. Yeah. Nowhere near my mouth. Well, that's good. That's a good that, thing. That's what she you said. You might be trying to drink it. <laughs> that's right. I did try to drink it earlier. That's right. Yeah, you did. I tried to talk into my drink and drink my microphone. That was not a good night. That was not a good turn of events for me. I'm trying to sleep. Definitely looking for that altar call here pretty soon. I was to finish this one. Big scope, big slam. Ooh. Only a two count oh. there on the power slam. Ouch. You got to think that scoop slam. He thought that was it, right? Uh-oh. He's ready to testify now, ladies and gents. Oh, definitely. He wants to lay that... Healing touchdown on Livewire here. That modified iron claw. But uh -oh. big spear there. A big spear. It took That's... too much time. That ref, I, I like his vigor, but he's got to learn his lesson about sliding outside the ring. Kyle Goodenow, well, what's he supposed to do? We'll go on the other direction. Look, it's a snap judgment. I don't know if you've ever worked a ring, my friend. Now, I've never wrestled in a ring, but I've worked one. It's a snap judgment. Now he's got the healing touch on him now. Uh-oh. This is not good here for Livewire. I mean, he's... Uh-oh. He's not fading really fast. a pirate's type, but... Go he ahead. is fading fast, folks. He's feeling the touch here. It's not good. Wow, wow. Travis Lee testifying. He's got one. This could be it. Holy Spirit is coursing through the veins right now. Got two. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's still alive, folks. Livewire is feeling it. Travis Lee can't believe it. I can't believe it. I thought Travis Lee had this match one here. He's got the smoke on him. Going for the altar call here. Nope. Nice counter. Flips the switch. That's it there. Close to the ropes, though. Referee, though, kicking our camera operator. And that's it. Wow. Where is this matchup? Wow. Wow. The live wire's got the bragging rights here tonight as he beats his fellow friend in the night. I'm telling you right now, though, folks, you might see one man win, but at the end of the night, both of these men are losers. Well, we actually heard from our doctor backstage, Dr. Dewey. Uh, Connor Riley is actually suffering from a knee injury. Um, Doesn't look good. Yeah, the prognosis is bad. Um, you know, uh, there is some rumors, there's some rumblings throughout the crowd tonight that uh, somebody heard a pop. But it's just rumors as of right now. We don't know anything for sure. The, the way he landed, uh, you know, it's the same way you saw Derrick Rose land in game one. That's right. You know, and he, he blew out his MCL. I mean, he's, you know, love him or hate him, I mean, Connor Riley is a human being, and you don't want to see any athlete in the screen actually get hurt. I mean, they're out here to entertain the fans. And That's no joke. Take nothing away from what I say, folks. I have definitely my guys that come out to this ring, but I don't want to see anybody walk out on a stretcher. I don't want to see anybody walk away from this thing hurt. 